Hey guys, Aaron here. The Super NES Classic is a great selection of games, I'm sure you agree, but I still think it is missing a bunch of the classics, and if you are watching this video, I guess you feel the same way. Well, Cluster M is back with his latest version of Hatchy, which not only supports the NES Classic, it supports the Super NES Classic as well. Here's a guide to get you going. It's not overly complicated at all to add new games to the system, and it also includes a much needed menu reset feature. Cluster M has done a great job of making the process pretty simple. Okay, firstly, you need to download Hatchy, and you can find the link down below in the video description. Once you've downloaded it, you need to extract it, so if you right mouse click and extract as you normally would. Once you've extracted it, all you need to do is open up the Hatchy folders and then you'll find the Hatchy file in there. Just run that. Now what I did note is sometimes Windows might bring up a, a screen saying are you sure you want to run this program. Just click run, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so this is where things start to get a bit more interesting. Like I said earlier, this version of Hatchy does work with the NES Classic and also the Famicom Mini, uh, but you're probably gonna wanna be using the Super NES Classic Mini, or if you have the Japanese version, the Super Famicom Mini. All you need to do here is just select which machine you've got. Okay, so this help screen does pretty much show how simple it is to get games onto the system, but with this video, I will go into a bit more detail in some of the other aspects of Hatchy. Okay, firstly, you do actually need some ROM files before you start this, but once you do, click Add More Games, find one game in the list, click it and press open. Now you'll see it appear in the list over on the left there, but what you can also do is, if you have multiple games, you can just left mouse click, select them all, and click open and they will eventually show up in the list as well. Now once all your games are loaded over on the left, you might actually want to change some of the game options. Uh, for example, you might want to change it to two-player if you know it is a two-player game. You can also change the release date and the publisher name. Uh, this stuff will show up on the system menu, of course. Now if you actually want to add your own cover art, you can click the Google button or browse if you have like that cover art on your computer. Now previous versions of Hatchy, you could actually seem to do like an automatic search, but this version doesn't seem to have that. Well, I haven't found it anyway. So it can be a bit time consuming doing this for every game. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna look at some of the settings that might be useful. So you can change the console type to the NES Classic if you did wanna do that. But the page folder structure is quite useful. Now, for myself, I don't have as many games on there, so I want them all to show on the system menu, so I select Disable Pages Folder. But you may wanna sort of mess around, seeing how the folders do work out for you, alphabetical, things like that. Now, there is also some controller hacks as well. Uh, now, you can actually make it so that you can reset by pressing the buttons on the joypad to go back to the system menu instead of pressing reset on the actual system. Uh, so yeah, you can change the combination here if you do want to do that. I think just leave it as it is really. Okay, so now you actually want to synchronize your games to the system itself, so click the button down here. You'll get this custom kernel warning, but it's absolutely fine to click yes to this. Once this is done, you'll get another screen. You might want to install the driver if you've never used Hatchy before, and just follow the instructions. So make sure the power's off on the system itself, connect your Super NES to your PC using a USB cable, hold the reset button down, press the power button, and then just release the reset button after a few seconds. Now this process does take a little bit of time to complete, but the good news is you won't need to do it again in the future, unless of course you reset your kernel back to stock. I will go a bit more into detail of that later. Uh, so I've sped this video up a little. Now just click OK here to start uploading the games to the Mini itself. Now of course, depending on how many games you are actually trying to upload, it will take a while. And that pretty much is it. Turn the system off and back on, and you should see all your games appear on the menu there. Now you can actually add quite a lot of Super Nintendo games to the system. In Hatchy itself, there is actually a memory monitor, so you can see how much space you've got left to upload to. 
Now I am going to quickly go through a couple of extra things like adding games and also resetting the system back to stock if you just want to go back to your original 21 games. Now if you want to add new games all you need to do is actually load Hatchy up again, click the add more games and add as usual. Don't forget to change the settings and add covers if you do want to. You can also delete games by right mouse clicking and actually selecting delete. I won't do it here though as I want to keep it. If you want to synchronize your new games, all you need to do is click the button again, make sure it's connected to your computer via USB, follow the instructions here, and then it should transfer the games back across. Now if you want to reset your system back to factory default settings, all you need to do is go up to kernel and select flash factory kernel. Again it might take a few seconds or so, but it will return it back to the original 21 games. Again, you will have to follow the instructions on screen to do this, like before. I hope this guide's helped you out get some more games onto your system. There's definitely a few other ones that I want to add at some point. Don't forget also, you can reset back to the menu by pressing LR Start and Select, which is really useful, saves you pressing Reset. And yeah, there's definitely a few more games I do want to add to the system anyway. I'd love to hear your comments down below. What games are you going to add? Did you have any problems at all getting Hatchy working? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, maybe give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel as well, it would be great if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.